So for tonight's reading, I'm going to read the opening of a truly inspirational book. This is I Am Malala by Malala Yousafzai. A daughter is born. When I was born, people in our village commiserated with my mother and nobody congratulated our father. I arrived at dawn as the last star blinked out. We Pashtuns see this as an auspicious sign. My father didn't have any money for the hospital or for a midwife, so a neighbour helped out at my birth. My parents' first child was stillborn, but I popped out kicking and screaming. I was a girl in a land where rifles are fired in celebration of a son, while daughters are hidden away behind a curtain. They roll in life simply to prepare food and give birth to children. For most Pashtuns, it's a gloomy day when a daughter is born. My father's cousin, Jehan Sher Khan Yufasai, was one of the few who came to celebrate my birth and even gave a handsome gift of money. Yet he brought with him a vast family tree of our clan, the Dolakel Yufasai, going right back to my great great grandfather and showing only the male line. My father, Ziadan, is different from most Pashtun men. He took the tree, drew a line like a lollipop from his name. At the end of it, he wrote, Malala. His cousin laughed in astonishment, but my father didn't care. He says he looked into my eyes after I was born and fell in love. He told people, I know there is something different about this child. He even asked friends to throw dried fruit, sweets and coins into my cradle, something we usually only did for boys. I was named after Malalai of Maiwand, the greatest heroine of Afghanistan. Pashtuns are a proud people of many tribes split between Pakistan and Afghanistan. We live, as we have lived for centuries, by a code called the Pashtun Wali, which obliges us to give hospitality to all guests, and in which the most important value is nang, or honour. The worst thing that can happen to a Pashtun is loss of face. Shame is a very terrible thing for a Pashtun man. We have a saying, without honour, the world counts for nothing. We fight and feud among ourselves so much that our word for cousin, Taba, is the same as our word for enemy. But we always come together against outsiders who try to conquer our land. All Pashtun children grew up with the story of how Malalai inspired the Afghan army to defeat the British in 1880 in one of the biggest battles of the Second Anglo-Afghan War. Malalai was the daughter of a shepherd in Maiwand, a small town on the dusty plains west of Kandahar. When she was a teenager, both her father and the man she was supposed to marry were among thousands of Afghans fighting against the British occupation of their country. Malalai went to the battlefield with other women from the village to tend the wounded and take them water. She saw their men were losing, and when the flag bearer fell, she lifted her white veil up high and marched onto the battlefield in front of the troops. Young love, she shouted, if you don't fall in the battle of my one, then by God, someone is saving you as a symbol of shame. Malalai was killed under fire, but her words and her bravery inspired the men to turn the battle around. They destroyed an entire brigade, one of the worst defeats in the history of the British army. The Afghans were so proud that the last Afghan king built a Maiwand victory monument in the centre of Kabul. In high school, I read some Sherlock Holmes and laughed to see that this was the same battle where Dr. Watson was wounded. Where Dr. Watson was wounded before becoming partner to the great detective. In Malalai, we Pashtuns have our very own Joan of Arc. Penny. <laughs> Hello, Lizzie, what are you doing? Okay, I'm just finishing this. Many girls' schools in Afghanistan are named after her, but my grandfather, who was a religious scholar and village cleric, didn't like my father giving me that name. It's a sad name, he said. It means grease stricken. When I was a baby, my father used to sing me a song written by the famous poet Ramat Shah Sayal of Peshawar. The last verse ends. O Malalai of Maywand, rise once more to make Pashtuns understand the song of honour. Your poetic words turn worlds around. I beg you, rise again.
My father told the story of Malalai to anyone who came to our house. I loved hearing the story and the songs my father sang to me and the way my name floated on the wind when people called it. <laughs>